Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Kaylee White. I'm a marketing coordinator here at Advocates Next, and today I have with me Corey Lawrence. He is a product engineer, and he will be going over the main highlights of Advocates Law. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to see if everyone can hear me. Um, so if you could just uh, indicate in the chat or raise a little hand uh, to show that you can hear everything and see, that would be great. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Everyone is on mute, and that's by design, just so that we can um, go through the demo. And then feel free to submit your questions in the questions portion of the GoToWebinar pane. And um, in the last 10 minutes, we will be doing your Q&A. Uh, so this will be about 20 minutes with 10-minute Q&A at the end. And uh, I'm going to let Corey take it over. Hello, Corey. How are you doing? Uh, I just want to thank everybody for attending today. Um, our goal is to show you uh, Abacus Law and how easy it is to use our legal management uh, software um, to simplify your workflows, including case management, time and billing, uh, as well as your account operations uh, while you're, gr you're growing as a firm. Um, keep in mind, everything we're going to show you is uh, from user interfaces to reports and invoices, as well as client-facing communications can be customized for your corporate uh, uh, identity, including logos and colors. Um, as well as, I mean, Abacus is dyna dynamically meant to capture all critical case information um, so you can uh, capture all those deadlines. Uh, to dive into it, um, I wanted to show you the uh, Matters Browse here. Uh, this is essentially where all your cases are going to be uh, listed. Um, of course, you can uh, query these cases based off open or closed or any of these indexes. Um, if we happen to open one of these, you'll see uh, that you can link all the pertaining information to the case uh, when it comes to uh, the notes uh, in regard to file status reports. Uh, you'll see you have the ability uh, in our document management to link uh, documents. Uh, that includes folders. Um, and it can really be any type of document. Um, it can be an image, uh, a video, a PDF, Word document, um, as well as emails here as well. Uh, you'll have the ability to link emails um, uh, via our uh, Outlook add-in. Um, our calendaring does synchronize with Microsoft Outlook um, in regard to uh, its contacts as well. Um, this is a two-way synchronization uh, for your comfort, so if you continue to use uh, Microsoft Outlook as your primary email, emailing solution, um, this will certainly uh, can allow you to continue to do that um, while having that information sync over for transparency so everyone in the firm can see. Um, to dive into calendaring real quick, uh, you'll see here if we open our uh, calendar, um, it's a uh, Microsoft Outlook-like uh, experience. You can see with the user interface, um, you have reminders, things to do, calls to make. Uh, just like Outlook, uh, these are known as tasks. Um, these, will, of course, will sync over as well. Um, this also allows you to schedule appointments, track deadlines. Um, some features are also included in our calendaring, um, our automated court docketing. Um, we have smart alarms that allow you to uh, alert for upcoming tasks. Um, if we create an event right here, uh, you'll see at the bottom you can associate, uh, you can create these alarms um, in several interval periods as well as several days in advance as well. Um, the biggest benefit is it allows you to link these events um, to the corresponding name or matter record. Uh, with this information, it keeps everything in one centralized location, uh, alleviating the need from having to really search uh, through multiple databases. Um, you can just search, you can once again just open your uh, particular case file and you'll be able to see um, any events that are associated with this event as well, um, saving you uh, uh, the time from redundantly entering these events. Um, the premise of the Abbeus program was kind of based off of rule-based calendaring. Um, rule-based calendaring allows you to uh, automatically and accurately schedule a series of events depending on the uh, main event you create. Um, so if we go in here and we add an event from a rule, uh, once again, we have these rules for certain cities, jurisdictions, and uh, states throughout the country, um, but what these rules allow you to do is create a rule and it will create several dependent events uh, off of that rule. Uh, some of these are reminders, some of these are tasks, some of these are things to do, uh, but it just makes sure that it captures every, uh, uh, every reminder and standpoint leading up to that uh, event 
Um, in some cases, it can be a trial. Um, it can be an arbitration case. Um, and once again, we, we have these rules already uh, planned out for you. Um, as well as you can create and save customized calendars. Uh, we basically want to uh, alleviate the need from uh, uh, clutter, you could say. Um, if you see here, the calendar can be broken down by who code um, for each individual, so you can choose to view uh, your calendar, um, or you can choose to view several individuals' calendars in the firm. Uh, this is very beneficial to secretaries and receptionists that want to see essentially what the attorney is doing in an everyday process, or if you're an attorney and you just want to see your calendar, uh, you can certainly do that as well by just uh, inputting your who code. Um, the next uh, highlight we want to go over is our uh, legal forms. Um, so our forms generation uh, basically gives you the ability uh, to populate information uh, from a matter uh, into a form with just one click of a button. Uh, the benefits of this, it helps you reduce errors, uh, eliminates chances for mistakes, uh, automatically filling out these uh, forms, um, stops redundant, redundantly manually entering these uh, information into these court forms, um, as well as if they are compatible with e-filing providers. Um, all save PDF forms and uh, um, are full, fully text searchable. Um, so real quick to give you a preview, you'll see some of these forms we have in here um, are for uh, the California Judicial Council forms. Um, and the process is rather quick. And once again, we can upload your forms and templates into the system. Um, so if I uh, open a matter here, um, you'll see we'll just choose one that we've uh, been working on. And then we're going to uh, choose an appropriate form we want to populate. In this instance, for demonstration, I'll use this settlement letter. And you can see here on the right, it's going to show you uh, the, the form itself. Um, with one click of a button, you can click Fill Form. And this information from the matter in the background will populate into this form. Um, and with our uh, Microsoft uh, Word integration, uh, you'll see here that you have the ability to save these forms from Microsoft Word into Abacus uh, directly. Um, we also give the ability to drag and drop these forms into our document management uh, um, section as well. Uh, but with this form, now you have the ability to save it and log it to Abacus. You can email it to a client um, or do uh, whatever is necessary in your everyday workflow process. Um, these forms uh, can be customized uh, to your preference. So if you wanted to upload your own templates and forms, uh, by doing so, you can then put it in design mode uh, giving you the uh, ability to customize and add uh, fields to this form. Um, and you'll see how quick and easy it is to do so. Uh, so this is the form. Uh, so like I was mentioning before, if you have your own customized logos or header, uh, you could easily copy and paste it in here to be branded. Um, but if I want to add a field into this form, it's just a matter of going into these insert merge fields um, that will allow you to populate the information from this corresponding field into the form. Um, so by doing so, if we click file number here, uh, we can preview the results and you'll see how that file number is now populating onto that form. Um, so once again, saving the time uh, from having to uh, manually enter this uh, information into the form. Um, the biggest, uh, biggest benefit of Abacus is that all these standpoints, you'll be able to track your time. We understand how important it is uh, for attorneys to uh, track their time, uh, the billable hours. Um, so you'll see if we go back into our Matters Browse here, um, at all those uh, tabs, whether it's the, uh, the documents you're linking, the notes, or so forth, you have the ability to uh, bill your time, essentially creating a time ticket uh, for, uh, for, for inputting this note or inputting this document or email. Um, and by creating this uh, time ticket, you'll see that it's going to capture all in information uh, applicable to this case. Uh, so you'll see in this instance, it's automatically populated the client information, the matter information, uh, the responsible timekeeper, and you'll see depending on when you initially set up this matter, um, it will choose the appropriate uh, time ticket type. Um, but the real benefit is it does the automatic calculation of the uh, timekeeper's rate based off the time they uh, put in. So you'll see here that uh, this user is billing for two minutes of their time, so it's $750 uh, and comparable to the $375 rate. Um, and once again, this information would be transmitted over to our uh, advocates billing and accounting portion of the program. Um, now, we allow you, of course, to do your uh, uh, necessary billing. Uh, but advocates accounting is a full gap accounting program. Uh, Give you some benefits. Uh, um, you'll see here, if we go to, uh, we have a trust demand check writer. 
Um, you can reconcile your trust bank accounts. Um, you can upload your online banking accounts for these reconciliations. Um, you'll see an AP demand check writer. Um, and the biggest benefit is you can run a plethora of reports out of Abacus Accounting. So depending on what type of report you're looking for, um, if we go to productivity here, you'll see that you have the ability to choose any of these reports, uh, whether build versus unbuild hours. Um, if we go down, you'll see we also have some matter loss profit reports. Um, and if we click on one of these reports, you'll see that they can be broken down uh, based off of a uh, uh, timekeeper. Um, they can be broken down via interval period. Uh, it's just really depending on what you are looking to populate into this report. Um, but the abil biggest ability is to track your time and if for, for accuracy purposes and making sure that you can uh, post these bills out um, in, an, in a timely fashion. Uh, we do accommodate several uh, billing um, formats, as you may have seen. Uh, so if we go into a matter here, uh, if we go to billing, you'll see that we allow to do hourly, flat fee, uh, we can do monthly billing, and most importantly, we, could, we can certainly do contingency billing as well. Um, if you look at the formats we also offer, uh, we can send it to a printer if you want to do the for, uh, um, uh, formal version. Uh, we can send an invoice via email as well as we have the leads billing format uh, for individuals that uh, necessarily uh, use that. Um, in the accounting side as well, uh, you can set up administrative costs, cost, um, you can set tax, late fees uh, on a particular individual matter, or you can do this if you wanted to encompass it on your, all your cases as well, you can do that as well. Uh, if we go over to the company preferences, you will see that you have the same ability to set these rates uh, per each for all the cases in the system. As well in, as well as at every standpoint, you can edit these uh, your, your billing template you're emailing out. Um, you can uh, edit your invoices as well. Um, and the biggest benefit is that we uh, recently rolled out our Abigus Payment Exchange program um, that allows you to, it's a credit card processing system as you can see here. Um, that allows you to get paid faster and for your clients uh, to pay you. Um, the biggest benefit is only a 3% flat fee charge for credit card transactions and ACH transactions are free. Um, and this is, of course, to ensure that trust accounts balance stay accurate because, of course, we understand the compliances uh, with trust accounts. Um, and this is a, a complimentary service that's fully integrated into Abacus Accounting. Um, and so there's, there's no additional uh, uh, cost, you could say, at that, for this feature. Um, and then, uh, and the other benefit we offer is Abacus Mobile. Uh, mobile gives you ease of access to all your files, client information, phone calls, time entries. Um, if I minimize this for you, you can certainly pull up an uh, interactive version of Abacus Mobile for you to see. Uh, so like I was saying, uh, this time track lets you capture every billable moment. Um, and then, of course, you can do this on the go, um, saving you the time uh, from having to uh, jot it down. Um, and this is an application that is readily available in the uh, iTunes Store or Google Play Store. Um, and real quick, if we take a look at it, you'll see here that if we, uh, we, we you have access to all your files. Um, if we open these files, it's going to give you all the information pertaining to the file, uh, the status of the case, who the actual client is, other individuals that are linked on the case. Uh, if we go back. You'll see here that we also have the ability to track time once again. Um, and this time, uh, will, any information you add into Abacus Mobile will be updated into Abacus in real time. Uh, so if you have a receptionist or secretary in the office, they'll certainly be able to see this information as well. And they'll be able to prompt you to save call details into a, a client file. Um, and then, once again, I mean, this is designed for those who are on the go uh, without internet access but automatically saves changes when you're offline and synchronizes as soon as you find a Wi-Fi spot. So uh, this can certainly be very beneficial to you uh, um, for the clients and individuals on the go. Um, moving back to Abacus, uh, we mentioned how uh, Abacus is customizable um, at a lot of standpoints. Uh, one of the biggest benefits we offer are the uh, PALS practice area solutions. Um, these are uh, catered um, intake forms fields and screens and rules uh, for particular practice areas. So if we happen to take a look at a personal injury one here, you'll see that it's meant to capture all the information um, 
in regard to this personal injury vehicle accident in one centralized location. Uh, we give you the uh, ability to save it as a draft, so if you don't have all the information at the time of filling it out, that's fine. You can still go back at a later time and continue to follow it out. Or we give you the option to create records and close. Once you create records and close, uh, this information will be disseminated over to the corresponding databases, either the names, events, or uh, matters database. Uh, but the real benefit of these intake forms it is a, a lot, it automatically will link all the appropriate parties to the case. So you'll see here in this instance, the client slash plaintiff. Um, if we continue down, you'll see it has their insurance company, uh, the defendant one's uh, personal information. Um, let's say we uh, save this intake form and we go over to the matter. Once again, you'll see here how all those individuals, uh, depending on the case type, would be linked to the case, um, like so here. And then you have the ability to uh, double click on any of these link types and it'll bring you to the corresponding uh, name record. Um, the names database essentially allows you to add information. Uh, it's like a Rolodex where you can um, link uh, the appropriate person to any case. Um, you'll see here, uh, you can classify the uh, individuals in the names database, whether they're a vendor, client, landlord, and so forth, and then they can be linked to any number of cases because we understand that you may have several cases uh, with the same individual um, and you want to be able to accurately uh, track that information. Um, and if we go out of here, uh, one unique feature we also have is our uh, global search. Um, this is a feature that comes up a lot where individuals are searching for something in the system. Uh, they just don't know who it's associated with or, or what it's associated with. Um, so in this instance, uh, you have the ability to, uh, with just two characters, or if you actually know the name, you can type something in here, and it'll search all those databases there on the left, um, whether your name is events or matters database, or even your linked documents. And then once again, given the ability to double click on any of these uh, searchable, uh, any of these uh, names or matters, and it'll bring up that appropriate information. Uh, one great feature about this is um, it also will do a uh, textable search, an OCR search, uh, for any Word documents that have been linked as well. Um, so if you link Word documents, um, you'll have the ability to search not only the subject, but the body of the Word document. Uh, so that's a great unique feature. Um, and to highlight the uh, Abacus dashboard. Um, so this is a dashboard that we can have pop up each time you log, on to, uh, log into the program. Um, this will give you some customizable quadrants uh, with some everyday information. Uh, once again, these, uh, these can be customized to prevent individuals from seeing certain information. Um, you'll see here that we have some accounting information up here. So we can certainly restrict access or viewable access to individuals that maybe don't necessarily need to see this information. Um, if we continue to scroll down, you'll see it has some recent matters you've been working in, daily agenda. Um, but the biggest benefit is this will, when opening, first thing when you log in Abacus, it will have you, tell you exactly what you need to do, saving you the time from having to navigate through the program. Um, but uh, we also, you'll see at the bottom left here, offer several resources in regard to the program, whether it's videos, um, uh, webinars like, like Recovery On, um, to answer any questions or assist you with the, the product as well. Um, and the biggest thing uh, to touch upon is security. So um, we understand that keeping your data secure is the, is the biggest uh, need. I kind of touched upon it a couple of times in regard to setting uh, access for certain individuals. Uh, but you see here we have security access profiles set for your, uh, the individual's role in the office. Um, and these roles can really be broken down based off functionality of the program. Um, so like it shows, um, the administrator, of course, has overall access to the program. Um, but if we want to, real quick, click on, let's say, a data entry. We can click Edit. You'll see permissions are broken down based off case management and accounting management. And if we just go to case management, you'll see how all these functionalities um, are here in the drop-down, and then from there you can limit the amount of access an individual has from add, edit, or deleting any of this information to the system. So uh, for larger terms, uh, firms, this can certainly be very beneficial uh, to limit access to individuals that uh, necessarily don't need to see the information or do need to see the information. Uh, Great. Thank you so much, Corey. 
Um, now we would like to um, take it over to the questions and answer portion of today's webinar. So if you all have any questions, thank you so much for, for being here, um, and we will take those now. One question is, what are some of the integrations that Abacus Law provides? So Abacus Law uh, uh, will integrate, once again, with uh, Microsoft Outlook in that two-way synchronization uh, that I mentioned earlier. Um, you'll see here that we can sync uh, your contacts and calendar events. Um, and uh, once again, saving you the time from having to go into Abacus if you uh, are familiar with uh, uh, Outlook more. Um, and once again, we also uh, integrate with Microsoft Word, giving you the ability to uh, link those documents um, directly into Abacus using uh, Microsoft Word, as well as WordPerfect, too. Can you limit the access of certain people from certain cases, like screening? Uh, yes. So uh, once again, dependent on the individual's role, uh, we can limit their access uh, Pretty, pretty much down to a T um, if we go to the user manager. And you could limit them from seeing certain uh, attorney's cases. Um, you could limit them from seeing uh, certain uh, uh, screens with particular case codes. So maybe you don't want them to see PI cases versus uh, real estate cases. Um, you do have the ability to do that. Um, this can all be set up via our uh, uh, security access profiles and our user manager. Can you screen from one particular case? You might want to um, elaborate a little bit on that question. Um, Tom, that question comes from Thomas. So do you want to elaborate on your question or? We can jump over to another question while we wait. Okay, so his question is, can you limit access on a case-by-case -case basis or just globally? Uh, you can do both. Um, we also have built into the system what we call an ethical wall, um, which can limit the amount of access, um, like you were just uh, mentioning, on a case-by-case, -case, or we can do it um, globally. Uh, once again, this is a configuration we would certainly set up uh, when um, implementing the program with you. Great. Any more questions, feel free to um, submit those. Is there a document archive feature, like scanned hard documents, that is also searchable? Uh, so once you link the uh, documents into the system, um, they are essentially, you're still going to be storing them in a location which you're familiar with, but you're essentially just going to be linking them to the case. Um, it doesn't necessarily archive the documents, um, but you'll see here we can set up foldering structures that will allow you to uh, sort them in an archivable fashion. Uh, real quick, if I can show you a quick, quick preview of a, uh, our new document management that's going to be coming out, you'll see here that we can sort them um, and not necessarily archive them, but you'll see we can scan directly into the Documents tab if, if that's a feature uh, that you certainly want to enable. All right. Does your search function allow Boolean searches? Uh, it, it doesn't doesn't allow uh, Boolean searches. Um, more or less, this is a character search. Um, in regard to Boolean search, this will be our queries. So you can run a report in Abacus based out of any database. It's just a matter of creating the, quick, the correct query. So if we go to Matters, for instance, um, if we go to Query, uh, Query Manager, you'll see uh, that if we, I'm just going to edit this top one, uh, but it's just a matter of creating the correct, correct query, and you can get that information to populate out of the, uh, the database uh, based off the field that you're looking for. So in this instance, you'll see the case code equals or starts with uh, PI, and the case is closed. And, and if the uh, it's, and case is uh, closed, it's empty. 
Um, so in this instance, it would populate all uh, open PI cases. Uh, but you can create these you can create these uh, queries inside the query manager and then use that to populate the information into a report. Okay, next question comes from John. How do you do documents rapidly? Uh, so once again, now it's going to be through our uh, forms uh, generator. Um, so if you want, you can uh, populate the information uh, into the form um, with a matter open right here. Um, a kind of a quicker process, and I think this is what you could be referring to, is um, let's say you have a matter open, you can click print up here, and this is a quicker way to uh, some recent forms you've accessed if you just want to get that information to populate into a form real quick. Um, so it's just a matter of clicking this print screen whenever you have a name or a matter record open, and it will give you all these options to populate the information maybe into a report, into a form, um, into a uh, mail merge. Um, but this will be this would be the quicker option than opening the forms library and navigating to that form. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us today. This was a great demo. Thank you so much, Corey. Well, if anybody has any further questions, feel free to send us an email at webinars at advocatesnext. We hope this helped you learn more about Abacus Law and evaluate if it's the right solution for your firm. And uh, thank you so much, Corey. And thank you, everybody. Also, a quick note, uh, we will send out a recording of this webinar to all registrants. So don't worry about, um, you know, if someone didn't make it or something like that today or you'd like to pass this on to a colleague, uh, look out for that email later on in the day. Thank you all.